Hey guys, Harry here. I'm doing a quick video on the tile setting trowel. It's a trowel that I use all the time now. And it's I've learned over many years and over more extensively my time on YouTube is that you've got to try and make your job, whatever trade you're doing, you know, um, this is probably more uh, more like joiners and electricians and plumbers will sort of harken back more to what I'm saying right now than bricklayers will, but you've got to make your life easy, you've got to use the right tool for the job. Joiners, plumbers, electricians, they have a plethora of tools all of the time and the way they get a first fix done or a second fix done or whatever they're called, the way they get them done quick is having the right tools and with bricklaying you've also got to have the right tools. The reason I use these little trials now and sort of exclusively use these little trials is because I can consistently get a good amount of bricks and blocks laid in a day without any strain and consistently. I don't mean on a straight run at sort of knee to waist height, lay a lot of bricks fast with a big trowel and then when I get high up and I'm on something fiddly or I'm on something that in quite straightforward I'm struggling I mean consistently every day no matter what I'm building I'm able to get a good amount of gear to earn a good amount of money when I'm on price which I'm more or less 90, 95 99% of the time on price um, you've got to make stuff easy on yourself because a lot of us this will be the only job we have for the rest of us days you know and you've got to just make things easy and People will say, you know, a lot of all get there's a massive, there's multiple generations of bricklayers who are using 12, 13 inch trowels and have been the, the market has been set up to sell you these big trowels. They thought well, everyone were using a 9 or a 10 inch trowel back, you know, 50, 60 years ago. And then the people who made tools thought, why don't we bring out fucking six, seven, eight, nine, ten different size trowels and then we can sell ten times the fucking amount of trowels because we've got all those different sizes and we can and we can, you know, encourage people to see how many bricks they can you know, how much more they can get on per trowel. And a lot of the time it's just slowing you down using a big blade. A lot of the time you think you're laying more you think you're picking up more and more and you think you're laying more bricks, but actually your hand's probably moving at a fraction of the speed than if you were using something like this, like a seven inch or like a six inch, that's been worn down. This is Marshalltown, this is a cheap RST. Um, but a lot of the time, I think, I hopefully what I do on YouTube and what you can see me doing in my videos is sort of changing people's way of looking at it because at the end of the day, we're just fucking his wrists up with massive trowels. We're just fucking them up slowly. And, you know, it only takes a gobbo to be too stiff and you're breaking your wrist with a big trowel whereas these little trowels will work if the mortar's perfect they'll work if the mortar's stiff obviously if you know if someone's getting your, your gobbo like soup you shouldn't be letting them get the gobbo um, and it's pretty much um, it's so good it's so good to try and use one of these I know it's a big ego you got to drop your ego and all a lot of people think I've got a 12 inch trowel I've also got a 12 inch one of them but it didn't work like that, trust me. You know, the bigger the trowel, the fucking more chance of getting arthritis. You know, there's a lot of things. So I'm just going to go through a few things. Um, a few different trowels I've got. Four different types of towel setters here. I think they're quite unique. There is, they're not just a pick and dip trowel. They're great for playing traditional. I've laid over a thousand bricks multiple times. Traditional with these, with these mixture of these trowels. And it doesn't matter how big your trowel is, you can still get a load of bricks laid. It's consistently, and obviously if you guys follow me on Instagram, you know I've been passionate about running for many years. I've got out of fitness a lot of times in my life. But I'm a little bit into it now again. And when it comes to running, or distance running, there's something called pace. Upping the pace, um, pacing yourself as people call it. But pacing yourself means you constantly running in a, in running sense to a certain speed all the time and you can do the same thing with work and I found these trowels help you increase your pace gradually you're increasing your your sort of basic 
repeatable daily pace you can increase that tempo progress from month to month to month and you'll get to the point where you're regularly increasing your pace all the time without putting any extra effort in just by making things easy there's a lot of things i'm going to be showing you in future videos i've got some um so a lot i'm trying to I'm sort of streamlining everything to help increase people's pace of working and that's not sacrificing quality that's just making everyday everything easier so suddenly you're going faster you might not think that you're actually going faster because you'll still feel like you're working the same but you'll realize all these little time and time saving little things that you're doing and little efficiency things are making things easier and suddenly if you're actually working hard you'll actually start getting loads more done because you know as runners as as as, as people who run or any guys out there who run you know if you keep pushing yourself every time you go out running it might not feel any easier but you suddenly get faster and that's the same thing we're working and same thing with Britley and you can do the same thing and this has been the biggest thing I've ever I've changed in the past two year uh, that's made me uh, lay tons more gear and get tons more work done with a lot less effort um, on a consistent basis no matter what lift I'm on whether it's a second lift fourth lift third lift whatever a lot of my anecdotal and sort of my experience will come from superstructure building superstructure houses but this will apply to any sort of masonry work you're doing so and people say you know it's not all about speed it's not all about how much you can get done it's a harsh fact of brick laying and especially when there isn't an abundance of work when there's slowdowns because the economy of construction always just goes up in peaks and valleys and peaks and valleys slow downs and speed ups and even if you're on day rate you still need to turn out a respectable amount of work because no one's going to pay you 200 pound 250 a day for to get in nothing laid and you don't want to be having to kill yourself to get your day rate and you don't want to have to be killing your cent every damn price to earn good price work money as well um so yeah i'll just show you a few of the trowels i'll not go you know too obsessive with them I've sort of banged on enough now this is the RST this RST feels very much similar to this Marshall Town the lifts are very similar this is a little bit more of a steeper scoopier lift um, but at the moment on Amazon these are 40 odd quid and then you can get these for about 12 or 13 quid so if you want in a plastic handled tile setter I'd happily go for the RST it's not quite as good it's not quite as strong but you're paying four times the price for one of these at the moment because for some reason whoever has the stock of these is hiking the price up uh, and then when it comes to wooden handled towel setters you got a two pound fifty trowel which is still basically the same as what you saw down there and you've got a marshall town a 23 pound trowel or a 25 pound trowel you know i know you're paying 10 times the price for this with a marshall town but it is stronger and i'd say all around this is probably the best trowel, um, the wooden one. The handle is a little bit skinny at the top, but you know, if you're wanting to, if you're on the fence about actually trying to use one of these trowels, I'd probably just say get the two pound fifty one and have a go. And if you really want to get a Marshall town later on, try uh, one of them and you know splash out, treat yourself. But yeah, that's my little bit of information with tile setters. They're really good bits of kit, and they've been able to make allow me to lay more bricks more often, faster more consistent day to day week to week basis get more done every week so uh, so when I'm booking in sort of consistently I'm booking in more every week you know and consistently the same so I'm not just making loads of money when I'm smashing in band lifts and I'm not just making loads of money when I'm uh, and I'm not just earning fuck all when I'm doing loads of second lifts you know uh, consistently getting a good amount of work done so anyway guys hope you enjoyed the video and hope it helped and just a little bit of a different way of looking at things. I've got some more um, tips when it comes to different types of gear, um, different tools coming up soon. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next vlog.